All right, let's go to material attributes. I'm going to change this over to, oh boy, we've got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, it's using Lambert one. Let's assign a new material to this. Assign new material. Let's go blend. There we go. And let's just see how this is going to look um, just in silhouette. I'm just looking at the edges right now. So normals, soften edge. All right, so that alone isn't going to be too bad. With our normal map on that, that's going to look spectacular. I mean, it's going to be a really nice wing. Um, other things that you can do uh, that you might want to do, if you want to take these tips and ways that we can make these a little bit um, a little bit better is we can drop in additional edges that bring us to a point or we can do this too. Since that runs us into the rest of the wing, I'm just going to do this. Drop an edge loop here at the end of each one of these so they're not so square. You know, and this is something that we can also do inside of ZBrush after the fact. Um, now that we do have the Z Modeler brush, let's go our vertices. Deselect these guys. Bring that down like that. Let's say that's a little better expression for the tips of the feathers. All right, I'm going to wrap up here in a moment. So do you guys have any questions about um, your wings? I mean, is this setting you on a path for, for the wings? Okay, Simon has a question. For feathers and other parts of the body, such as behind the head or on the back, should I make a little planar feathers and add them in just by placing them you, uh, or extrude them out of the mesh of the body itself? You can do both. You want to start with a basic mesh and then make decisions where you're going to make extrusions like that, strategically place them. Um, using planes, um, it depends on the look you're going for. Right? So if you're, if, if you're going to do planes, planar feathers across the surface, and I'll show that with, um, I'll make a recording showing that with using fiber mesh because um, you can do that really easy with the fiber mesh and the fiber mesh curves. You can make those those sort of tiny feathers um, around the body and then bring that into Maya and then instance geometry or loft geometry along the curves like flow polys along the curves does that make sense Simon Um, any tips for webbed wings, Christian? Yes. It's the same flow. So you're basically looking at um, you're looking at placing the geometry in the same direction. And let me go ahead and bring back the main body. This way I can talk about it in context a little bit better. And let's go ahead and flip this on the X. I thought I did that the right way. There we 
There we go. So just turn this inside out. I want to reverse the normals. Oh no, it's smart enough and caught it. Cool. I don't need to reverse the normals. And let's freeze transformations. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this first. Give me a second and I'll get to the web wings. So you can see that if I had any sort of like bend in my uh, in my wing, how I would experience problems appending this back in. But um, let me get this into place and then answer your question for you. All right, and I'll get that appended in on an uploaded video. All right, so, um, and I'll also double this over for you guys. I wanted to get you started on, on these wings. The webbed wings are actually relatively easy. So the, the web wing, the webbed wing is uh, just like a hand, right? A bat wing has digits like a hand, right? So all you're looking at is placing webbing in between each digit. So if we were to look at this, right? Look at the foot. And the foot is a webbed area, right? I, I would want to create webbing in between. So to do that, I would take these digits in between each one. All right, then let's do, I want to inset that. Let's just do a face extrude. Let's take this and then just scale that in. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and I should scale it in even more. So let's go to like that. Let's delete that. Now that we have this hole, keep on going back to the old places. All right, and we're going to append poly top and bottom. Does that make sense, Christian? Okay, cool. Um, I'll continue on down here. And I'm gonna end up with a try here. Then what I'll want to do is so that this webbing feels right and it looks nice. Remember I need how many edges to form any motion? I need three, right? So I'll need three to express this stretching well. So insert edge loop. And there we go, right? So that's what you're looking at for the webbing in the wing. All right, um, everything else, I'm gonna go ahead and do pre-recorded for you guys overnight tonight. Um, and tomorrow, and I'll have those up for you tomorrow evening at the latest. So uh, do you guys have any questions before we go ahead and end the live session today? And how do you guys feel about this progress and the process? Glad to hear it, Christian. Simon, Marcos, how you guys doing? Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys, you know, I mean, I'm sharing with you my, my stuff, the way I approach it. I just want to see, um, you know, I want to see how it, how it feels to you guys, you know. 
um, in Sierra Digesting. It's my first time running this course. It's a lot of, this is the first time I've shared a lot of this stuff um, with other people. I mean, this is stuff that I normally just do in my own personal work with, you know, my classes that I normally run. They're, uh, you know, they're humanoid characters. They're monsters that I normally, normally do. And it's, you know, there's some stuff that I'm showing right now that I don't, you know, I've never, I've not really shared, like, as far as the wings go. You know, that's the first time I've shared this. So it's, the, your feedback is invaluable to me. And I really, really appreciate it. And uh, I appreciate you being with me, guys. Being with me going through this. Um, and allowing me to share it with you. So thank you guys very much. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your Wednesday. And a beautiful day tomorrow. And I'll be seeing you guys on Friday. Um, post up whatever you need onto the class page. And I will uh, get those videos up to you guys by tomorrow night. All right. Thank you very much and have a good one. Take care.